Um, very good. Thank you. Um, I know I want to ask a question, Michelle. So, and I, I think you ask these questions all the time, but we are having um, debates in many forums. Um, then we'll have a discussion tonight about housing and uh, what is our capacity and ability to build more housing for uh, people, not just unsheltered people, but including unsheltered people uh, in our city and in our community. And uh, I, like you, am following the Build Back Better debate and um, the $150 billion uh, amount that is currently in uh, the, the draft proposals. And I think you said, was it 3.6 or $2.6 billion that would come to California? Um, what was that? It was 2.6 billion of the local housing trust fund. Of the local housing trust fund. Mm -hmm. So you know what I'm gonna ask, because I just wanna kind of get um, an order of magnitude here, which is based on traditional formulas. If that $2.6 billion holds, and again, remember this was, this is the less than $2 trillion package overall, the one that Joe Manchin and Kristen Sinema allegedly, you know, are ready to embrace, maybe, maybe not. We know there's a lot more drama and work to be done. What would be the city's allocation? And then maybe what would be the county's allocation since we are in partnership with them in terms of flexible housing dollars uh, from that new pot of money? Mm -hmm. So um, we don't have the specifics in terms of how much money would flow to the city and the county. Um, however, of the $2.6 billion from the local housing trust fund, that money goes to the state of California. And previously, what the state has done has issued that money through competitive grants. So uh, it would be great if someone would be advocating with the state that they actually really imp implement it through a formula allocation. But in the past, the local housing trust fund has been all competitive. Okay, well, we know people. Um, you know yes, people. you do. You know lots of people. We know lots of people. So that's a debate we got to get into. But help me out here because you know what I want to hear. And I'm not holding you to the number. But if, if it were based on sort of traditional formulas, formulaically, and if we are able to achieve that, what is our share of $2.6 billion? I really, I know I, you, you want me to give you a number. I, I do. Don't know a number okay. because they've never done it by formula. They've only okay, I can, I can tell you what I think it is based upon yeah. old percentages. I think it's well over a hundred million dollars. Okay. And we've talked about, I think it is, and that doesn't even include the county. Mm -hmm. And so, um, and, and so uh, this is on top of what the council, of course, has already committed to its housing trust fund. It's on top of the hundred million dollars that we have voted on August 10th and compiled together um, as part of our uh, fiscal plan to implement the comprehensive siting plan. Another hundred million dollars if the Congress follows through it. I know that's an if, it's a contingency, mm -hmm. but it's a heck of a lot of money. And, um, and I'm conf relatively confident they, fin they finished the first part of this thing. President Biden uh, had a magnificent signing ceremony yesterday in Washington, DC, that uh, the CBO comes out and shows that the second half can be paid for. This thing gets done. The city is going to be able to more than double the amount we have already allocated to the housing issue. And I think that's hopeful. It's not guaranteed, but it's very hopeful. And I just wanted to say that, or at least get that on the record. And my estimate is not completely out of left field. No, it's not completely out of left field, especially, I mean, that's only one of those line items that I was talking oh. about. Go the other ones. What are the other ones? Come on. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. So the other ones are the home program. So the home program, as I mentioned, is looking at almost a tripling of what we have seen in the past. And this is over a period of a few years. So we will have a few years to use those funds. So, so we the triple of what we have in the past. In the past, I think we're at home is around 3 million. So 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what? We found a way, members, um, and it's not just us, obviously, but it's the student state, the feds, housing is becoming a priority. Yeah. And, um, and we're finding the money. We continue to find the money. Mm -hmm. Thank you.